Today, the Costa Deliciosa is docked in the city of Dubai. Though built in Europe, she is the first cruise ship to be christened here. She's been sailing seven-day cruises in the Persian Gulf. But now, it's time for this super cruiser to begin the 7,800 kilometer journey home. This cruise back to Europe will take 19 days, and she must sail through some of the world's most pirate-infested waters, through the Red Sea and out into the Mediterranean via the Suez Canal, and finally docking in Civita Vecchia, just outside of Rome. Much of the route is considered a red zone, which is an area that is unstable and volatile. Political unrest, pirates and terrorism are real concerns. So did you prepare the nautical chart for uh, the passenger area? Yes. Captain Pietro Sinisi is the youngest captain in the fleet and the man chosen to sail the ship home. The planning of a long trip like this, for, for sure the safety of the guest and the safety of the crew is the priority one. Avoiding uh, dangerous situation, we need to have always uh, uh, like James Bond in 007, a second plan if something happened. No trouble. Trouble is not a word guests want to hear. When they board, the ship's four restaurants, 11 bars and three pools must be gleaming. This cruise will be a floating banquet with food available to guests throughout the day. The inventory crew is stockpiling. 27,000 litres of bottled water and 10,600 kilograms of seafood are on today's shopping list. Loading is a tense time. When the ship is docked in port, she has several exposed points of entry. Security will be tighter than usual on this cruise, and Captain Sanisi has ordered extra security briefings for all departments. It's a tall order for many crew members that have been on board for the whole season. People are, are quite tired now. Eventually everybody wants to go home, so when crew members have done seven months or eight months or nine months, when you're on that leg home, Sometimes you can have like your blinkers on and just be looking at home. You can't put your blinkers on until you get home. All right. Okay, yeah, 83019. All right, thank you, sweetie. My job is to make sure that the people that speak English have a great cruise. Everything's okay now? I need to know everything the front desk knows. I need to know everything the tour office knows. Everything about the entertainment department. I really need to be like a ship encyclopedia. My job is like Pandora's box. Susie is a seven-year Costa Cruise veteran and knows the drill. There'll be loads of security patrols and extra staff training ahead. The captain will not discuss the details of the ship's defence systems. Oh, no, no, you're not allowed. No. Thank but you. we'll reveal that when it comes to pirates, outrunning them is part of the plan. In high-risk areas, the ship can sail at her maximum speed of over 23 knots, making it difficult for any possible attackers to approach. Chief Engineer Salvatore Acetta is the man in charge of making sure that she is fit and ready for any possible race to safety. Right now, he and the engineering team are focusing on the propulsion systems. They need to do a final inspection before leaving dock. The ship is powered by a system known as azipods. The azipods are self-contained units that are able to turn a full 360 degrees, allowing the ship to easily maneuver out of any tricky situation. One of the engineers will climb inside the shaft of the azipod, eight meters below the waterline, to inspect all of the components. Before the team can make their way down into the azipods, they have to ensure that there is absolutely no way the propulsion system can be activated while someone is inside. They lock all main power switches to prevent any accidents. 